Hey everybody, it's Dan Duggan here with Keith Sarger from NJ Advanced Media. Uh, we're back from the bye week. Sarge, how was your uh, vacation down the tropics uh, last week? I'm sure you were, spent the bye week sitting on a beach, I'm sure, somewhere. <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> no, but no rest for the weary. It's uh, we're right back to the grind and uh, the, the Rutgers gets right back in the swing of things uh, at Ohio State. Uh, 19 and a half point underdog side. When you saw that line, what was your first reaction? I mean, I, I try to steer, stay clear away from uh, betting, you know, but I mean, I thought it was a little high. I did. I mean, I, I think, you know, both teams have similar records, and I, I think Rutgers, I don't think they're getting enough credit for, you know, the Washington State win. I mean, we've seen Washington State now play competitively against Oregon and Stanford, you know, winning at that game at, at, you know, at Washington State to open the year, you know, winning at Navy, you know, Ohio State played a similar game against Navy. I think, you know, I don't think, I think 19 and a half points is a little high. I think Ohio State clearly is, is a better team, but 19 and a half is pretty high. Yeah, I mean, the betting line sucked clearly for amusement's sake. I mean, uh, we don't want to encourage anything like that. And, and the funny thing, I think when you talk about betting lines, though, it does find its way into the locker room. These guys, they're motivated by this lack of respect. I mean, you would think that 5-1, and one, coming off their win against Michigan, maybe the public would start to give them a little respect and then smack in the face with a 20-point underdog in your first game after the bye. So I was just talking to Leontay Carew, and he's a guy who's really kind of embraced that whole chip-on-the-shoulder type attitude. So I don't think that stuff necessarily matters on the field on Saturday. But they don't have to search for motivation at all this season because they've heard it from starting, you know, once they got into the Big Ten all summer, that they feel like they should have answered some questions. They haven't, so they have to just keep proving it. So I think that's that's a good way to go into games. I mean, everyone always kind of likes to be the underdog with a, with a puncher's chance. So, I mean, I guess we'll see what happens on the field on Saturday. But, you know, they're feeling like they're in a, a pretty good spot and they're embracing this role. And to be clear, I mean, Ohio State, you know, they lost to Virginia Tech, you know, at home week two. Totally different team since then. I mean, JT Barrett is so much more comfortable. The offense, I mean, they, they, they went to Maryland, which I think is a similar team to Rutgers at this point, and they, they won that game convincingly. So, I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, Ohio State and Rutgers are on the same level. I just, again, 19 and a half seemed a little high. Agreed. All right, and then we'll be there to see how it all plays out.